Alrighty then. Hello, hello, and welcome to Scrappy Hour. I cannot figure out why my chat isn't loading. I don't want to reload the whole page, just the chat. All right, let's see if this works. Let's see here. All right, so good evening. Welcome to Happy Scrappy Hour, where I will be scrapbooking live for the next hour. I went and posted the sketch I will be using in my Facebook group. There's a link down below if you'd like to join that group. And you can get a heads up on what we are doing and the fun that we're having. All right, so this is a sketch actually from 2007, if I'm not mistaken, if I recall correctly, from Valerie Salmon. Salmon? Solomon. It's very blurry because it like zoomed out big time. When it wanted to print this big on my paper and I'm like, uh, my eyes are old. I can't deal with that. So uh, back in February, this wonderful person here, Fran, celebrated her birthday. She turned 28. And so I have pictures of her and hey, mom. Yay. Okay. Chat is now working. I wonder if I can pop it back in. Nope. Can't do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I also have pictures of Elizabeth. She was attempting to put in a piece of cake that was probably, it was the size of the layout I wanted to, that I originally wanted to break. It was huge. And she actually got it all in. And there was much laughing. And she doesn't want me to use these photos with this paper because this paper has gnomes. And my dear daughter does not like gnomes right now. Probably because her mom and her Aunt Fran think gnomes are fabulous. <laughs> Therefore, we want gnomes on all the things. So we are playing with a little bit different type of rules today. Oh, I forgot I'd used this paper already. Um, I have these alpha stickers. Why are you why are you auto zooming, not zooming? I forgot I restarted my computer and then it gets rid of all of my settings. Uh, so I am in the position of um, I can't get it unless I can physically reach it from my chair. I might have had an argument the other day about physics because you know there's this rule in physics how two objects cannot occupy the same space at the same time. They can occupy the same space at different times or different spaces at the same time, but not same time, same space. I got into an argument about that with our Ottoman and um, the Ottoman was very um, forceful in his opinion. Ultimately, I won the argument. Um, the Ottoman learned that my foot and itself cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Sadly though, uh, my uh, toe was a casualty of that battle, and so there's a lot of breakingness and 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 uh, fun wallpaper words that make me go ow. So yeah, oh, there you go. This is what I'm looking for. Want that green? Let's go ahead and slice it up. Let me move that, which will probably fall over and. Then So, here we go. We're going to start with this. Now, this layout or this sketch is from quite a while ago. And so, scrapbooking has changed a little bit since then. Also, amazed that my four by six photos are not four by six. Are they? Are they seriously like short? Else, if I use the inch side of the ruler. My four by six photos are not actually four by six. This is disappointing. I'm just going to say it. But that's okay because one of the things I wanted to do today was to map them. So I'm actually going to cut the branding strip off and use the paper going this way. Hopefully. We'll see. All right. uh, they are still four inches tall, right? This is why I don't order from anybody but Persnickety Prints, because I know if it says four by six from Persnickety, it will be four by six from Persnickety. Oh, 
Ooh, first question for you guys. Shoot, that is not how big I needed it. I needed it four and a half. Didn't I? No. I could do it this way. No, that was right. Okay. I'm losing my mind. What color should I ink in? I've got this lovely appley green. Could do blue. I'm also thinking maybe pink. I want to bring in some pink. So there are these round um, elements. I'm going to use those actually as layers of squares and rolls. Bring some of that in. Bring some of that in. There is one that I had already cut a little bit off of. Suddenly I know why I didn't remember making a layout of this because I didn't. I did though create this for one of Chamel's half and half videos. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, I'm losing my mind apparently. That's okay though. I'm still cool. Where did that? There we go. This is the other one. So if I did no, that's not gonna work. That is definitely not gonna work. All right, I gotta have another solid in here besides that. There we go. Here it is. I love all these cakes. Love them. All right, so I think what we're going to do for stripes right here is going to be kind of like that. Hey, Cindy, the color of Fran's shirt. I could do that. That's a darker pink, and I have a darker pink in there. That I think is definitely doable. All right, so I'm just going to cut some different widths or heights or lengths or whatever it is of these three inch four inch let's be wild and crazy and make the white polka dots a five inch Ooh. wild and crazy there we go all right so color of fran's shirt i would say is probably Oh, painful to stand up. Hold on. There we go. I think warm lipstick is the best color to use. That's coral. Here's my pink. Okay. Thank you to people who've already given me a thumbs up for this video. Thanks for your support. Every time I say that, I think Bartles and James. That is what I come up with every single time. All right. So we will start attempting to take the lid off and putting the ruler away. So if you are not big into the scrapbooking world, then you may not know how much gnomes have taken over everything. And I kind of blame this company that I'm using right now, um, Photoplay, because they came out with, I think it was last spring, their gnome collection just called Tula and Norbert. And it was them, and it was about planting and things growing and springtime and hello, Harmony. And it was just nice and lovely. And Let's if I put tape on both of the photos, you know, just like so And so, hold on, I'm gonna see if I can, if this will work. Nope, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna scooch it over almost to the very edge. Let's see if that works here. Nope, that doesn't work either. Oh my goodness, it's going to be one of those things where it's just like, how many times will it take me to line the photos up? All right. I know gnomes, there we go, have made an appearance in other parts of life. I really got into the gnome craze when Fran and I went to a scrapbook store. 
from South Carolina. Don't want to glue this down yet. I've got this whole vertical situation going on right here. We went to the scrapbook store and they had, oh, I could use this. That would work. They had the photo play collection for 4th of July for Tula and Norbert. And Norbert is working on one of the stickers. This um, He's writing a rocket, like fireworks. And I thought that was 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays because I get to see my family usually. And I don't have to worry about going back to school when I get back to North Carolina. <laughs> Christmas break. I do have to worry about going back to school. So it's like uh, a little better than Christmas there. A lot better than Christmas, actually. So I saw that and I was like, okay, fine. I'll get some gnome paper. Got some of Tula and Norbert for 4th of July. Got some of their original collection. I've now picked it up in other seasons that have come out. When I saw this one, I was like, I got to get it for Fran. I did not get the Norbert collection. As, as much as my husband loves me scrapbooking stuff, I'm pretty sure he really would not be too into gnomes. We're going to go with washi tape. Because I could get my um, punch thingy and um, I don't really feel like bending that much and pushing my chair back. Okay. So do we want pink chevrons or do we want pink with white dots? What do you guys think? I'm gonna take a drink of water because I'm thirsty. Personally, pink chevrons are my favorite. The yellow chevron tape by Bella is my favorite, um, favorite washi tape ever. But this one, kind of goes with the polka dots in the background. What do you guys think? And then what you guys are thinking, I'm going to be looking at my letter stickers that I grabbed out of my letter sticker file and see what colors I might have picked that would work. Black would definitely work. This pink makes my eyeballs want to bleed. Wow. This would work. That would work. That would work. It's like on the verge of pretending to be fluorescent, but not pink chevrons. Okay, so mom, that's the second time. That's what whole hog into gnomes, I guess we could say, is when Fran and I went to Ikea and they had this cute little stuffed gnome. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. And I told myself, I do not need gnome decor. Like it, it is, it is one thing to get, um, scrap of paper, but decor, I do not need gnome decor. So I did not get it. Fran, on the other hand, did get the gnome. And then we went over to Hobby Lobby. Just let me point out, we're all completely masked and we're not going around when it's like, everybody else going like in the middle of the day type going and we're walking in the parking lot and Fran's like all right we got to name the gnome and I'm like I am all about naming gnomes what are we going to name it and we were tossing things out and I went oh, what about Harold and Fran went oh I like Harold yes Harold is the name of my grandfather so I was like that's funny so we named Fran's gnome after my grand my granddaddy, which is my mom's dad. And then this is where we're gonna pull out a pair of scissors, which I swear I already had out. I do, they're under there. So this is all the stuff you guys don't see. This is why I like like Facebook lives. I'm zoomed in, you don't see all my chaos. <laughs> Ooh, I just had another idea. I could use some pink sparklies or something. Anyways, so we pick out Harold as the name. And then I want to use this somehow. Maybe I don't know how though. It's not working in my brain. And I 
finally went, you know what? Okay, I want to go back. I want to get myself some gnomes. Okay, I got to get myself a herald. If we're naming them after my granddaddy. Um, I was like, I got to get another one. Um, I think the newest one I saw was the one with the bees, which I did not like. That's one I'm not planning on picking up. So, Brayden and I are talking about going back and what we're going to do and this, that, and the other. And we go and we're like, oh, you know what we should do? We should see if they're on. Sorry, I'm trying to like cut things and, and think about measurements while talking to you guys. I apologize. Hold on one second. Should see if they're in stock because we went back a second time and they weren't in stock. So now we're stalking the IKEA website <laughs> to find out when this random gnome that we have named Harold will be back in. Well, it came back in and not only did they have Harold, they had a girl gnome and I went, oh, it's Betty, which is my grandma's name. So Fran has Harold and Betty the first. I have Harold and Betty the second. And then my mom got a set of Harold and Betty and our friend Miranda got a set of Harold and Betty. And I cannot remember. I think, mom, you got the fourth. So I was trying to, I think Fran had picked up the ones from Miranda the same time I picked mine up. And that means, yes, indeed, we went back a third time for gnomes. We like gnomes. So my Harold and Betty have an Instagram page, which I cannot come up with off the top of my head. But I randomly post things of my gnomes on there doing stuff. Like they celebrated Valentine's Day, which I have those photos were in this same pack of photos too. Okay, so I'm not planning on doing curves. Not that I don't like curves. I'm just not feeling it. So instead, I need to get... Okay, put the stabby scissors away and get the long scissors out. All right. We're going to cut this in half. See, I'm liking that. I do like that. I like that quite a lot, actually. All right. Now, if I put it like this... We're almost getting some cake vibes from it, which I'm not mad at. There are indeed candles over here. We could this pretend cake made of paper. In fact, I think that's a great idea. And I'm so glad I came up with it. <sighs> so we have had nothing but gnomes all over the place for the past few months. And then my daughter who is in seventh grade and would probably be mortified if she even knew I was talking about her. I'm gonna cut some more of that off. She hates gnomes. I don't know if she hates gnomes simply because I like the gnomes and, and therefore it can't be cool. You know what we're gonna do? Here's what we're gonna do. This, this is gonna end up crooked. I know this, you know this. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to attempt to make it so that way it is, instead of being crooked by accident, it is then a design feature. See, I'm thinking there. I'm thinking. I gotta remember, I can always cut some more off. I can't cut it back on. Don't cut it too small to start with. Hey, hey look at that. Now, here's my issue. I'm going to have to peel it all up and take it down because I'm pretty sure those candles are going to be sticking off the top of the page. Where did Pusheen go? I can put stickers on my bowls and stuff, but stickers do not want to come off my Nuvo drop holder. So, I know Mom, for example, is not a scrapbooker, which is fine. But the rest of you in here that are scrapbookers, how many of you have jumped on the gnome train? This is what I'm talking about. 
because I'm going, I'm going to end up peeling up a bunch of stuff. Okay, I think that la that will work. There's where I could potentially pull in a little bit of sparkle, but I'm not feeling it. Lost my tape gun. Okay. So we're going to move. Not down there. Because I still have to cover up that. So if I did that, I think that would work. Let's see if I can get it to line up with the edges of the paper. I can also put in a sticker or something. Because that's going to be right where my title is. So I can, I can create layers. I'm good at that. All right, we're going to have this one going this way. We're going to have this one going this way. We're going to have this one going this way. And now we can stick candles on it. Yes. All right. Where is my dies? Where did they go? Here they are. Nope, those are puffy stickers. Those are not dice. Brandon came to visit me this week. And our Rosie Studio order came in. You know, if you've not heard of Rosie Studio, I'm not horribly surprised. They are a... Oh, they're all right here. They're in, I can't remember if they're in Australia or New Zealand. I want to say Australia. But, does it say on the back where they're from? No. But they make some amazing scrapbooking supplies that are not, do not cost an arm and a leg. And if you spend $50 US, you get free shipping internationally. But I'm like, well, it's very easy for Fran and I to get together and each of us order $25 of stuff. Take it back. It's actually difficult for us to order $25 of stuff. What we tend to order is more like, hey, look, let's put $100 of stuff in there. Because we're, you know, bad at budgets. But it's scrapbooking stuff. Yeah, I really like that. Don't know how I'm going to make it work. But now suddenly I'm almost like, oh, I could fussy cut all of those candles out and just put that old piece right there. Clearly, my brain is not functioning currently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This could work. Which one is that? It's the blue one. No, I don't like that. So what I'm thinking, though, is I can take some of these patterns and use this doily die, which is really fun to say. I just realized doily die. And create some embellishment clusters. Um, where'd bag go? There it is. All right. Cindy says she has gnome stamps, but no paper. I have some of the Lawn Fawn gnome stamps, I believe. But I think I got those because Lawn Fawn and not because gnomes. Uh, let's see. Mom is going to journal with a gnome theme. Oh my goodness. Mom, that would be fabulous. If you decorate first and journal after and we love to share your pictures, that would be even more awesome. Gnomes are from the Doodlebug pun lines. Oh, I don't have those. Oh, I'm continuing. I'm just going to pull it out. Oh, this is one of those where it's just like, hey, guess what? We need to put in a shim because paper. I'm not going to put in both of that because that will kill my die cut machine thing. All right, let's try this again from this end. If this doesn't work, then clearly this doily idea was not meant to be. And that's okay. So those of you who have some gnome stuff, do you like the gnome trend? Or are you like my daughter going, oh my gosh, it cannot end soon enough? Didn't really get too much on the llama trend. There we go. 
But with llamas, my sister loves llamas. So it was actually like, ooh, llamas, I can actually use these. And then I apparently didn't get as much as I thought I did. Come on. I need you to pop out. You're working on it. I can see you. I can see it. Oh, my gracious me. Now I can't get the ding die cut out of the die. There we go. Okay, that's cute. That is super cute. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it right there. But I think what I will do is include this at the bottom. So there's the embellishment spot with the circle over the left photo. It also has that same circle underneath the right photo. So you've got that bit of symmetry. Clearly, I'm not doing that because I can't fit a cake upside down and then the candles would burn the bottom of the scrapbook page. And that's just weird. And if you followed all of that, congratulations. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good die. I think this is a die, though, to cut things ahead of time, which is all right, because I also have this cute little camera die that I also wanted to use. Oh, that one says eat cake. I can use that. There's another one. This one I was like, oh, I got open presents, make a wish. I have celebrate, too. Although celebrate is partially cut off. So maybe we will make these strips make sense on the bottom. Right. That we'll get the feeling of that, that symmetry of feeling, you know, continuing that design, but it's just going to be continued on a smaller scale. Like this, so I can cut the ends off of all of these. And then I'm going to ink them. And we'll see what else I can do with them after that. All righty. Inking comes next. Gnomes are cute, even if they aren't your thing. See, I like that. Yes. Okay. So I saw the close to my heart stamps. I don't know if Fran actually picked those up or not. She might have. Those were cute. What I do like about um, how photo play is doing it is almost all of the papers across all of the collections, whether it's Halloween or Christmas or spring or birthday or whatever, they've got sides that aren't known. So, like, the only paper I'm really using on this that you see a gnome eh, is that aqua paper. I'm really hopeful this is not going to rip. Goodness. Is this aqua paper? Everything else, there are no gnomes. So, even if you just are like, you know, gnomes are stupid, but I like the colors of the collection, then, my goodness, you can still definitely use this collection. Let's see here. I want to see if I can get these to kind of go a little. Let's see. What what word could I use for this? Caddy wumpus? Whoppy jawed? What other words could we do? Hello, Joanne. Good morning. You get to start your day with me. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> All right. So there we go. On a smaller scale, we've got this back and forth with the cakes now over here, which mimics that. So when I looked at this, it's got embellishment cluster, embellishment cluster. I'm also going to add one up here, I think, over the title. That may be where I add this in, or this actually might get tucked in that way. 
we shall see. I need a title though, and I still need something there. Um, I wish some of these, I mean, okay, I don't like tags, but tags make sense at Christmas because Christmas, and it makes sense for birthdays. I'm okay with that. I kind of wish Happy going sideways. Ooh, I'm going to do wish big because then I can put that on foam, pop it up, and it will cover that little mark. Hello, it's the birthday girl. Hello, Miss Fred. Oh, wackadoodle. That's a good one, too. So, Fran, I have your 20th birthday party that I'm scrapbooking. I hope it's okay that I told everybody how old you were. I know I didn't clear that with you ahead of time, but I figure I know you well enough. It's okay if I say that you're 28. Nope, I want this one. Oh, you guys, okay, I think it was on Sunday in Facebook we were talking about this really quickly. The foam tape that's an eighth of an inch thick came in from Amazon. Holy moly, love it. Love it, really do. I sound like my daughter. Love it. So she used to say when she was little, she used to scrapbook with me when she was like five. And she's like, mommy, I don't know what to write. So I just wrote... Love it. <laughs> oh, Fran, I'm sorry. It makes you feel any better. I'm not feeling that great either. I slept most of the day. Because <laughs> sleeping at night is not happening at the moment. Okay. Of course it is. See, I knew that. I knew she'd be fine. Me telling people she's 28. And I showed Elizabeth these pictures, Fran, and then I showed her the three that are going on the companion page. I said, look, I'm scrapbooking this, and I'm using the gnome paper. And then I pulled out the three with her on it. I'm like, and this will be the companion page. And she's like, no. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Wish big. All righty. Oh, okay. I totally want to use this side of, which is the back of the doily, because that little hat is right there and perfect in it. So that's going to be the start of our cluster on this side. Let's go ahead and just put some adhesive on the back and stick it in. Oh, that stinks. Well, for me, I broke my toe and on Wednesday and that it is still is still in the oh my gosh, it hurts when I breathe mode. All right, I want to tuck it in far enough that the inner dots of the doily are cut off because then it's like, I don't know how it your brain changes how it reads things. I don't know how I don't know why. I just know that it does. And that works. And Fran, instead of half circles or arcs, or whatever you want to call them, hemispheres. Um, I made you a jod cake. You are welcome. And I'm putting all these candles on it, which is going to be a problem because I only have five of them and I'm acting like there are like 27 of them. We need to space these suckers out a little bit more. All right, let's put the orange one there. So that way the two pinks are not next to each other. There we go. Like, where did my glue go? You're not the first person to say that, uh, Harmony. I've heard a lot of people going, oh my gosh, I cannot get myself moving after it. Okay. So, got these parts, got a very big dome there, and a smaller one down here. So, I do want to do something where those flowers are. I could do flowers. I could do doilies. Oh, 
wait, hold on, hold on. I've got, it. I, I'm not even going to use these for my title because that one worked so well. I have these. They're from Coco Vanilla, which is another Australian company. Fran, there you go. You would know this. Rosie Studio, Australia or New Zealand? I can't remember. I kind of want to do celebrate 28 years. That would be cute. We're going to put the 28 up on foam. Okay. Um, oh, but this will be a great time to use some of this teeny stuff. I also like to point out where Fran is not 82. Okay, she's 28. There we go. Alrighty. Goodness, I'm like, if you people thought I used foam tape a lot before, this thin stuff. This is amazing. Whoop. See if I can hold it. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm dropping it. top and bottom. I can do this. Yes, I can. One more. So the photo order that I placed and got in this week has, well, has friends' birthday pictures. It has some random stuff. It's got Valentine's Day with the gnomes. And it's got baby Zozo pictures. So be ready. You're about to get a lot of Zora. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Just want you to know. I'm going to do years in this. Uh, yep, that's Spooky Tool. Spooky Tool to the rescue. Okay, I think... Fran either fell off the internet or my comments aren't updating. Either is possible. Either is quite possible. So, and there we go. Well, I feel bad. I'm covering Norbert up. It's nothing personal, Norbert. These are my crookedly cut mini market stickers that I will still use because I don't have them in any other cuts. Watching, trying to scrapbook a little. Hey, Miranda, you're here too. Okay, Fran, question though. What is... Where does um, Rosie's studio come from? Australia or New Zealand? I can't remember. I will still be sad when I run out of these mini market stickers. Even though they're crap crooked. Okay, 28 years. Wait, wait. I don't... Uh, let's see really quickly. Oh, look, there's Harold and Betty celebrating Valentine's Day together because that's what we do. Nope. End of the month. Here we go. Oh, we actually did this on your birthday, didn't we? New Zealand. Okay, thank you. I forgot that we actually managed to do it actually on your birthday. February 20th. Seven, 20, 21. 
This is the last year on this roller stamp, which makes me sad. I like this one a lot. I need to go through and uh, order just another regular one from Office Depot or something. All right. Next, let's start putting in some embellishments. I will save my daughter. Get the weirdest place to put a hole for a tag. Just going to say that. I'm going to save my daughter and not use birthday girl for her. Because, oh my gosh, if I use gnome paper for her, she will die of embarrassment. Katie! Katie, what do you think of gnomes? Do you like gnomes? Do you think this is cute gnome paper? Because let me tell you, when I mention gnome paper to your BFF, she is not happy with me. <laughs> All right. And it's okay that you're late. Love the gnomes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. First, we put a hole in a really stupid spot for a tag. And then we make the hole teeny tiny. Okay. Let's try this. There we go. Pull that through. And here we are. Now, do I want? Oh, I could put it there, which I do like them actually. Uh, let's put up on a little bit of foam. Let's put the stabby scissors away and the pokey thing away. Alrighty. And then we will tuck that in right there. I like it. I like it a lot. I need something round down there. Birthday girl wish big. I could do cupcakes. I don't want to do um, some balloons, but hmm. here we go. I'm going to use this guy. Girl. She's a girl. This girl is me, Fran. This is me as a gnome bringing you birthday cake. <laughs> Deborah has given in and embraces the gnomes. Yes. I like that. It's my little funky tool here. I don't remember what they call this. What do they call this thing? Oh, yeah, it's Scrap Perfect. I don't think that's the name of it. This is the thing that we that we call that gets rid of all the stickiness. Before I peel some more up, why don't I use what I already have down? And there's a unique color. Oh. All right. I think they are too. My husband has no problem with the gnomes. I think that might be more of he knows better than to argue with me about the gnomes. He might be on that part of the relationship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just dear daughter that does not like them. Lucky Joel, come back. Come on. There we go. All right. And then we will pop this up. Now, the quarter or eighth of an inch foam from. See, I want it right here. Like it fits perfectly right there. So that's not going to work. Ooh, she would work right here now. 
So the eighth of an inch foam is a squishier foam than the scrapbook.com stuff, which is not surprising. It's a lot cheaper than the scrapbook.com stuff, but it's still pretty good foam. I'm still quite happy with it. I think we're going to put this little cupcake up on foam and then do one of the larger ones behind it. And that one will lay flat. I was thinking about getting a gnome for the yard. We <laughs> we technically, technically, we, we had some garden gnomes for the yard. My husband bought one of those Godzilla statues and it was eating the garden gnomes. <laughs> and that hung out in our bushes for years. <laughs> Just like, okay. That's fine, whatever. All right, that one's already coming up. Got a little bit of dimension there. There we go, covering up that little gap. What else do we have on here that I want to add? I want something over here. I could do the little heart. I like that. And then let's do a word phrase. How about blow out the candles? Yeah, that would work. This one would certainly work. Put it right there. And then ink this and put it up and around. <laughs> I'm glad you like that, Deborah. I'll tell you, my husband's got a quirky sense of humor. He does. But, you know, so do I. So we kind of work well together for the most part. go this comes up giving that a little bit of dimension all right am i done is it time for nouveau drops do i want to try to add some flowers in can i make picking up a bowl these bowls also came from ikea really like ikea and someday we'll get to go back and eat at the Ikea restaurant again. Oh, we dream. It feels weird putting a flower down here next to the cupcakes when the flower is bigger than the cupcake. Although I do kind of like it right there. Do I have a smaller one? Maybe. No. Not that yellow. No. What if peel that up? Peel that up. Put a small one. Right in there. How about we do this one? Because that way it's not, this will work. That way it's not the um, yellow sticker on the yellow flower. All right. Put that right there. Now we're going to put this right here. And then that can overlap. Uh, yeah, I think the pink one worked well down there at the bottom. You can go under the 28. So you get some layering there. And then
Let's pull up Amy the Gnome. Okay, I like that there. That would work. Do we like the little berry sprig? I mean, I kind of do like it. So let's use it. Let's use it. There we are. Katie, my dear, are you still here? And did my daughter tell you what I did on Wednesday? Because let me tell you, talent. I've got amazing talent, y'all. Okay. Is it Nouveau Drop time? And we made it to the Nouveau Drops. Which, Fran, were all picked off the shelf by none other than Mr. One Mommy Scrapping. Mostly because I'd sat down and I didn't want to stand up again. All right, take a quick drink of water. Okay. Well, since nobody is saying otherwise, we are moving on to Nouveau Drops. I've got seven colors. I don't think I'll use all seven colors. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use green because there's so much green everywhere else. I'm not going to use this. It leaves five. I'm good with five. I like five. Start with, so, yep, carnation pink. Double dot there. Let's pick up that flower and put it into the bowl. One, two, three. Okay, then ripened pumpkin. I still have to look at the side of the bottle. I'm like, is it that? Is that what it's called? Can I remember correctly? One. Two and three. Next up is dandelion yellow. Yep, I got that name right. Woohoo! Look at me go. Colors I use the most. I'm finally remembering the names. I think my problem with remembering the names comes from the fact that there are other products with similar names. Like they've got there's sweet lilac and French lilac which are both purple Nouveau drops. I'm like, are you people trying to kill me? Like, really? There we go. And we're gonna put in some calming aqua. Oh, the um, new tonic craft kit was shown today. And it is using things from Trend 2, which is the Christmas one. And it looks like we've got a lot of gorgeous, true Christmas reds and Christmas greens, which I think we need badly. So I'm happy to see all that. All right, and then, oh, that was coming off of aqua. I can't remember if I said that. We're going to put in simply white. One. This would look better on the green. Two. And three. There we go. And I think we are done. Let me put the lid on this. Move it over. Okay, so sketch. here is our sketch from 2007. The sketch is older than my daughter. How is that even possible? Um, and we kept kept it with, with the uh, photos. I've dropped the photos, and I just treated these semicircles as embellishment clusters. So we kind of made a whoppy jod, wackadoodle, um, catty wampus cake, and then. I took, because this was lowered and I had less space, I did the same thing with doing the kind of back and forth with the words, but did it in a smaller.
I added an embellishment cluster there. And this title was perfect because it covered up where I ripped the paper when I peeled everything up and moved it down because it's not a layout by me unless I peeled stuff up and moved it down. Layers, peeling things up, and Nouveau drops. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will be live again here on YouTube next Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live in my Facebook group, uh, One Mommy Scrapping, this Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I think that's it. Hope you guys all have a lovely day. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love if you'd subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.